Hey there, Norman here from WoCode, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Kinetic Gallery widget. The Kinetic Gallery widget offers a self-contained gallery complete with beautiful full-screen animations, a poster-style background, hover effects, and more. Gallery images are arranged in a single stylized row and set against a background of large poster style text. When an image is clicked, a new focus page is revealed with a full screen image, tagline, intro, description, and button. And best of all, the transition between states displays an immersive, spinning animation that is unlike any other gallery. Now, before we jump into the builder, I did want to clarify some terminology that will be referenced throughout this video. Those terms are closed gallery and opened gallery. Now, if we look at the demo here, currently we are in the closed gallery state. Now, if I click an image, we'll get that nice transition. It'll pull us in and we are now in the open gallery. If I click the back arrow, once again, the animation will come in, pull us back out, and we are now in the closed gallery. Now, let's jump into the builder here and take a look how we're going to set this up. Here on the builder, we have our preschool template. And if we scroll down to just before the happy kids section, I'd like to add the kinetic gallery widget into a new row in order to display the different teachers for the school, as well as provide additional information and images for each teacher. If we jump into this preview site here, we can see exactly the design that we're gonna be recreating today. And clicking on one of the teachers gives us more information about them, as well as a nice sign up button that can be used to sign students up to their class. Heading back into the builder, we can start by creating a new row just above that happy kids section. We can open our widgets panel and we can grab the kinetic gallery widget and drag and drop that right into the new row. Now, before we take a look at the widgets options panel, let's open up that row and let's go into edit design and enable full bleed row. That'll allow the widget to stretch the full width of the page. Perfect. Now we can open up the widget here and start taking a look at the options panel starting in the content tab and we'll start at the top and work our way down. Starting at the top, we have our unique ID. You wanna be sure to use a unique ID if there will be multiple kinetic gallery widgets in the same page. Next, we have our content items. This is where you will add each item into the widget. The widget supports up to 10 items, but for a best looking results, we recommend sticking to between three to five images as anything beyond that, and things can tend to start to get a bit crowded. Now within each content item, you will find additional options. Starting from the top and working our way down, we have item title, item tagline, item image, item intro, item content, button and button link, background text lines, item thumbnail, item caption. Now, that's quite a hefty list of options, and for more in-depth information on exactly what each option does, be sure to reference our excellent training doc we have available for this widget on our site. I'm going to go through and add our first teacher in here, starting with the item title, which will be the teacher's name. Next, we have the tagline. We'll add the thumbnail. We'll add the item image. Then we will add the caption. We will then add the intro as well as the content. We'll link this button just to the home page for this example. And we will give the button label a label. Okay, so now that we have the first teacher added, I'm gonna quickly go in and add the additional content into the widget, and I'll be right back. Okay, I finished adding an additional two content items for a total of three teachers. And finally, below the content items section, we have the background text 
lines. This is where you'll add the text that will be displayed behind the content items and that are animated in and out as the gallery is opened and closed. Now, due to the amount of content I'll need to add into the background line section, I'm going to quickly do that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, now with the background text lines added, that is going to do it for the content tab. Let's jump into the design tab and take a look at how to style this widget. Here in the design tab, you will find extensive styling options. Most of the design options are related to text styling, which is pretty self-explanatory as well as quite a bit of padding and margin controls. More options than I can cover in this one video. However, I would once again definitely recommend checking out our excellent training doc for the Kinetic Gallery widget for a more in-depth understanding of what each padding and margin control does. With that said, there are a number of specific settings that I did want to highlight. The first one being in the background typography styling panel. In here, we'll find a number of options for adjusting the background text. One of those options is the first setting for the typography opacity. This adjusts the opacity for the background text for when the gallery is closed. We have 0 0.005, which is the default, which is quite low, all the way up to a 1, which is solid. Now, for this demo, I am going to set it to 0 0.1, and then I want to change the font color to use one of the oranges that is already used throughout the template. Next, coming down to the closed item styling options. In here, we'll locate the item step offset. This setting adjusts the amount of offset each item has, and if it's set to zero, all content will be vertically aligned. And when that setting is increased above zero, then each content's vertical alignment will be adjusted to create a step offset. Currently, it's set to nine. However, if I crank this all the way up, we can see that it creates a much more dramatic step. And if I bring this all the way down to zero, that content is aligned. So we'll set this back to nine where it was. Next, let's go into the open item styling panel. In here, we can find the title with desktop. This setting controls the titles width for when the gallery is opened, allowing you to create an overlapping effect with the header overlapping the image. Just below that, we have the content width desktop setting, which allows you to adjust the width of the content in relation to the width of the widget. The larger the number, the more the space that the text will take up, resulting in a smaller image when the gallery is opened. And that's going to do it for the design tab. Let's go ahead and close this widget and let's grab our preview URL and take a look at this widget on our preview site. Now, if we scroll down, we can locate that kinetic gallery widget that we just built. And if we click into one of the teachers, we can see that we have that nice smooth animation. We have the information for the teacher, the about me section, that sign up button, as well as that larger image on the right. We can close this out. We see that nice smooth animation that closes back up and we have our gallery thumbnails presented to us once again. And that's all there is to the Kinetic Gallery widget. As you can see, it's a very unique and stylish gallery widget that doesn't skimp on functionality. And it gives you all the tools you need to really craft this gallery to complement any site. With that said, my name is Norman Durkee, and you have been rocking with the best website builder platform on the planet, wocode.com. And until next time, and as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to support. We're always here to help.